What's going on, guys? So today I went by my buddy Dave's house to check out his square body builds. He actually has uh, two square bodies. He's got a, a K10 and a K20. Um, he's in the process of building the K20, and he's stealing a few parts off the K10 to do that. He's going to turn the K20 into like a tow rig. And he's going to beef up the K10. Um, he's thinking about doing some uh, a Dana 60 in the front and maybe a 14 bolt in the rear. I'm not sure what he's got planned for back there. But I went by today to check out his builds. Um, please check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description. He's a super cool dude. Um, I'm going to play his channel trailer right now. And then after that, some video I shot today while I was checking out his rigs. Enjoy. Hi, my name is David Dick. Welcome to Dick's 4x4 Garage. To build them by hand. I like to I like to take a wrench like this <clears throat> that my dad put his initials in when he was a young mechanic. And uh, I like to personally personally tightening every bolt by hand. If you ain't doing it yourself, you're paying too much money to have somebody else do it. And to be honest with you, you probably ain't doing it right. Marathon. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me what you got going on, dude. Alright, so here's the K10, Project K10. I've done so much work on this truck. I bought it for 600 bucks back in the day. And then just been slowly building on it in phases. So it's got a, a 5.3 that I built with some 4.8 pistons, um, turbo 400, NP205. Had a 14 bolt and a 10 bolt, but I took them out for this truck. So the next phase on it is to do a Dana 60 and a 14 bolt. I'm gonna show you the back here. You can squeeze through a little bit. Uh, so I shortened it. I shortened the frame 10 inches, and I like boxed it, and then I built this fuel tank carrier, if you will, and uh, it has the shock mounts and everything on it. So it was leaf sprung, and then now it's gonna go to a four link. That's awesome. Yeah, so looks good. She's coming. She's coming along. So the current build is this gold truck here, Goldie. So uh, 14 bolt disc brake swap. Uh, kind of did a backyard frame off and put that rust paint on and all that stuff. The interior is kind of gutted now. It's just got the reflectix in it. But I cleaned up all like the nice cluster and everything. Gonna get a new steering wheel. Probably gonna get a tilt column for it. But this is going to be like the tow, the tow vehicle. And I did the door panels, but I'm not sure how good they're going to hold up. What did you do? You just painted them? Dude, I used, um, I cleaned them all up, primed them, and then I used, uh, this is like some kind of like bed coating stuff. Oh, okay. So I th I'm pretty sure like it's just going to get scratched and look nasty. So I'm trying to figure out what I can put over it to make it look better. And then these, somebody made wood. These deals out of wood. I and saw I your video on them. these. Yeah, I just stained them. Yeah, I saw your video on those. That's, that's. that's... Chino stain on <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. And, uh, like here. So it's got like some four inch springs in the front and in the back it's a shackle flip with some 56 inch suburban springs I got out of the wrecking yard. And then this is a, a iron LS1. I had a 5.3 board out and then I built it with LS1 pistons, LS1 heads and then it's got the truck accessories with the truck coils and truck intake and it's all uh, drive by cable. Nice. So. That's how we're setting up. So right now I'm working on getting the air intake plenum. So that's all off the 2005. So that's this style. So I took this plate out of a 2005 3500. I'm going to get ready to put some supports on it. So that's going to sit there like that. And then took the battery tray out of it as well. So putting in there to make a little, little piece nice. for it. I can mount it. But other than that, it's a whole lot of work in here. I pretty much had the cab and everything off of it and it still has to have stuff painted. Made a cross member for the sway bar, but So you're gonna pull all the wheel wells and everything back out, paint everything? Yeah, it's just mock up right now. Nice. 
And then, so these are all going to come back out and get painted. I'm kind of going to leave the fenders alone just because I like kind of like an old school look. Mm -hmm. Somebody has put some kind of black paint or something on it. I actually love the color, dude. It looks better in real life than it does on, on video. Yeah, I like so it. I think I'm just going to, I have the bed too. It, just, it needs a little work. So the floor, I'm going to replace it with the bed that came off that truck. And uh, then I'm just going to do a little work on here and see if I can just make it look better and then probably put like a, I like do it like the old school faded shop truck logo. Oh yeah, like Taryn did on the international. Yeah, so I'm gonna do like Dick's four x four garage. That's and awesome. Do something cool. I'll come up with something. Do it on the plotter there, and then transfer it with some paint. So. Cool. Yeah. Man. Right on, man. That's awesome. Yeah. It's coming along. So check out the channel. Yep. Check out Dick's four x four garage. Or Dick's four x four dot com.